they were back. Something was happening in me, and it deluded me. Day after day, I returned. It became more than an outing, more than an experiment. It became a quest. And each time, there they were on my forum, smiling and taunting me, until the day I did something rash. The day that I was overwhelmed by such a strange energy, I stopped on the shoulder, got out of the car, and alone in front of the setting sun, I shouted, shouted and shouted with all my heart. Oh, come on. Cheers. Left hand or right hand? Right. <laughs> They're called Beads of Grass. They're an amazing band, and I think that you're really going to like them. The first song talks about you. <laughs> Thank you. It's very sweet of you. We'll listen to it the next time we go for a ride. No, tonight. But first, there's something else. What is that? Drug. A drug. That is what losers take when they can't deal with reality. They prefer running away and drugging themselves. I'll never take it. Well, I consider it to be a soul revealer, a sensory amplifier. It's the answer to all of your questions. A drug to answer all my questions. It will take you to the other side. Where your shout took shape. To the source of your goosebumps. And isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you're looking for? I can't take it for you. It's your decision. Either you stay where you are and continue living the life that you always have, even though it's a lie, or you take the risk of shattering everything that you know to find a truth that has always eluded you. What truth? that everything in this world is not about strength, control, power, and domination. I took the pill and went to the other side. In the beginning, I didn't feel very well. I had some difficulty breathing. I got scared, really scared. I, I panicked. I'm going to die. I'm going to die, but no, everything is fine. Everything is fine. It'll be all right. Mindy's voice. She was stroking my head, speaking softly to reassure me, and suddenly I felt it blazing, burning. Radiance like a sun, my solar plexus, it was on fire, it exploded, diffusing a flow of constant warmth. This was so good. All this light inside of me, how I suddenly felt well, light, brimming with energy, euphoric, all around in space. It was extraordinary, magical, unreal. Objects were vibrating, colors were bursting. Mindy, your mouth, it's like a volcano, an erupting volcano, and your hair. Your magnificent brown hair, they're so bright, they've never been this bright. It looks like you are carrying the sun on your shoulders. You are so beautiful, Mindy. You're so beautiful. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, the most beautiful woman in the world. She was laughing, 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 and her laugh was flying in the air. It was happening. It was happening to me. I'd never seen the world like this. It seemed to me I was seeing it for the first time. The most insignificant object made me think of something beautiful and fantastic. The lamp looked like a star. 
the world, the world, became a gigantic metaphor for the other side. Was this it? Was I there? A place where we can see within each thing, as common as it is, something else that is linked to it. There is, there is a single atom of reality, as small as it is, it creates a feeling of infinity inside of us. Everything suddenly became so mysterious, vast, a sense of reality exploded. What is reality? Where does it start? Where does it end? And what if there is no end and no beginning? This music, this voice, where are they coming from? Look, look, do you see them? Butterflies everywhere, everywhere. They're everywhere around us. Like the goosebumps on my arms, those are vibrations, darling. Vibrations created by the music. I could feel them all around me, warm and good vibrations. They were stroking me, penetrating me. I, I feel so good, Mindy. So good. The music is beautiful, so beautiful, as beautiful as you are. Come, let's get naked. We'll better feel the vibrations when naked. I remove my shirt, I remove my pants. I felt the music overwhelming me, coming inside of me, taking me and possessing me. And like when I was in the car, I felt a power inside of me that I couldn't contain anymore, that had become too big for my body and mind. And I started to dance, I started to sing, I started to shout. Shout, Mindy. Shout with me. Hey, Mindy, what if we compared our shouts of joy? And I started to shout, I'm on the other side, I'm on the other side. I was bouncing everywhere and suddenly, nothing. That's all I remembered. And now I'm here, in this bar. Forty years earlier, in my jacket's left pocket, there is a tab of ecstasy. In the right one, a revolver. And if I cannot explain anything, if everything seems so confusing to me, now I remember. Everything is clear. The reason why I am here and what I have to do. Crazy on I have to talk to you. I have things to tell you. Important things. Get this weight. I'm with my friends. Charles, the more important things are having drinks with friends. If you had the opportunity to go back in time, what would you say to yourself? The dates the market crashed? To buy low and sell high? Not to marry your own wife? I would have liked it to be so easy. I was there to convince myself that all the knowledge of life I firmly believed in was wrong, and that the decision to buy the free mind news, which would make me one of the richest and most powerful men in the country, was a mistake. I told him everything. It was as if a black curtain had blinded me to the world and Mindy pulled it away. I fell into a purely sensory vision of the world and the whole world became one gigantic poem. My, my vision of the world shattered and in the rubble I, I, I saw elements of truth that had always escaped me. The world is beautiful, Charles. It is incredibly beautiful. It is a permanent miracle. And I finally understood the idea that all great men should know. It's not to own and control the world, but to become as beautiful as the world. He listened to me without saying a word. We were speaking the same language, but I knew he didn't understand me. You have to fully live certain things in order to understand them. I took the pill of ecstasy out of my pocket and put it on the table in front of him. Take it and listen to some music. The Stooges 1969 just came out. You shouldn't have any trouble finding it. I listened to it when I was driving along the ocean with Mindy. It, it, it talks about how time slips away from you and, and how urgent it is to become time conscious. You know, Charles, all the money, all the newspapers, all the power that you'll have won't prevent time from slipping through your fingers. You have to become time conscious. Buy a boat, a small sailboat, and let the wind carry you away. That, that will put into words much more clearly what I'm trying to make you understand. 
Take the pill, Charles. Do you know the story of the frog and the scorpion? It's one of my favorites. The scorpion wanted to cross a river, but as he could not swim, he asked a frog if she could take him on her back to the other side. The frog, far from being crazy, refused with a big croak. She knew that once the scorpion would climb on her back, he'd sting and kill her. Don't be sillier than you already are, said the scorpion. If I sting you while crossing, you will certainly die. But I too will drown as I cannot swim. Why would I do such a thing? I want to live. That makes sense, remarked the frog. She let the scorpion hop on her back as his logic was sound. In the middle of the river, she felt a terrible pain overwhelm her body. Why did you sting me, asked the frog. What did you gain? Now we're both going to die. I know, said the scorpion, but I couldn't help it. It's in my nature. Oh, Charles. What do you still want from me? Do you remember the story of the frog and the scorpion? I don't know where I am. I don't know if I'm dead or alive. What I do know is that I killed myself. I did it because people who said no to me never got out of it unharmed, and yes, maybe I have to acknowledge it. I did it to save myself.